Hi, this is Tamara from mooglyblog.com, and in this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to make the Happy Handle Coffee Cozy, which is a free pattern that you will find on Moogly at the blog post that's linked in the description. Here I have a finished cozy, and the reason I call it the Happy Handle Coffee Cozy is because the handle here is just the right size to stick a gift card in, like so. Perfect to wrap up and give as a gift. And of course, after you take the gift card out, it becomes a handle. Now, unfortunately, I finished my coffee, so I don't have the cup anymore. I hadn't planned on making this video initially, but you can kind of see how it works there. The cup goes right in there, your hand stays warm and safe, and you've got a reusable coffee cozy. So, let me show you how it's made. One thing with this video is that it's, or excuse me, with this pattern, is that it's really important to get gauge. The gauge for this pattern is seven stitches by five rows is four inches in half double crochet. So, if I took a ruler and measured four inches across, it would be seven stitches and five rows. And that is using an end hook, which is a 10 millimeter hook. Now, to make this, I'm using Super Bulky Yarn, Hometown USA by Lion Brand specifically. Uh, if you don't have a Super Bulky, you could take two or three strands of worsted, whatever helps you get the gauge you need. All right. I've caked up what's left of the skein here. I've already made one using this skein, but there's more than enough left here to make another one. So I am going to start with a slip stitch and then I am going to chain six. One, two, three, four, oops, five, six. I'm gonna pull up a little more yarn here. Then half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and each hook, each hook. <laughs> Let me try that again. Half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and in each chain to the end. Since so we chained six and we start half double crocheting in the second chain from the hook, we'll have five half double crochets at the end of this row. Five, I like the half double crochets here. It's one of my favorite stitches and I know it is for a lot of you too. It's great because it gives great coverage, a little more coverage than you get with a double crochet, but it's not as stiff as the fabric you normally get with a single crochet. And I know it looks like I'm working with two strands of yarn here, but this really is one strand of the Hometown USA. I believe this is from the Tweed line. They all have kind of sporty names. This one's called Wildcats. All right, so here we have five half double crochets. Now rows two through five are pretty much the same. You chain one, or if you prefer chain two. I like to chain one for half double crochets. Some people prefer to chain two, it's up to you. I'm gonna chain one and half double crochet across, having turned here. So five half double crochets per row for rows two through five. So why don't I work on that and you work on that and I'll rejoin you when we've finished row five. All right, so here we are at the end of row five. I have made five stitches in each row and we're ready to work round six. This is where we switch from rows to rounds. Now it starts out just the same as before. I'm gonna chain one and turn and then half double crochet in each stitch across. One, two, three, four, and five. And if you're not familiar with half double crochet, do look to the linked video tutorial. It'll be linked in the blog post for that. I know I'm kind of going through the stitch itself pretty quickly right now, but this is just for the cup cozy. Cup cozy. That is harder to say than you'd think. All right. So we've got our five half double crochets. Now we're going to chain 10. Just working right off the last stitch there. One, and we're going to be crocheting into these to make them a little bit loose. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, eight, nine, and ten. Now what you want to do is pick back up, and this is going to be called the flap from here on out. This, the previous, I guess six rows really are going to be the flap. We're going to take our chain and make sure that the top of the chain is straight across, that it's not twisted at all. 
like this because that's going to cause trouble later. So you want that to be even and straight up here with the V's on top and then bring it around you can see here to the front again and we're going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we made in this round. So if you can see from the top here that's the first half double crochet we made. We made five half double crochets and we chained around and the V's are all facing up and there's no twist in the chain. So one thing I didn't do, I'm going to have to pull this back out because I need to make sure that the yarn here is in back before I make that slip stitch so I can get to it. So I'm going to insert the hook in the first half double crochet and make a slip stitch. And that's the end of round six. Now for round seven, it's back to the half double crochets. We're going to chain one, oops, and half double crochet in the first stitch here in the next four stitches, got our five half double crochets here, oops, three, four, and five. For those of you who watch my videos before, you know I usually hold my hook in a pencil grip like this. I find with the larger sizes, like N here, it's easier to go overhand, but you should hold it however it's comfortable for you. So I've got my five here, and now I'm going to, work, going to work a half double crochet in each chain around. So since there were ten chains, we're going to be working ten half double crochets, one into each chain. Working to the chain can be tricky, but just take your time. You only have to do it this one round. So there's two, three, and now normally, again, for those of you who've watched my other videos, you know I like to work into the hump of the chain, but because this is a chain that came later in the pattern and we want to work it without twisting, I am going under the top two loops, under the V, when I make these stitches, leaving that back hump on the bottom. So we're going around, and two, you want to watch where we slip stitched the chain to the first half double crochet in round six, you want to make sure you don't work a stitch in there. So as you come to the end of the chain here, you want to count your stitches and make sure you have 15 total, and that you haven't accidentally added one somewhere. So let's see, we're almost there. Working to the chain can be difficult, like I said. Make sure you leave enough room there to get your hook back in. Don't try and chain too tightly. If you're, If you have a lot of trouble, if you tend to chain way too tightly, either just consciously chain more loosely when doing these, or you can move up a hook size if you've got a bigger hook. Although at this size, that might make them a little too big. You'd have to experiment a little bit to see. At this size, the, the hooks just keep getting a lot bigger. So I think this is the last chain, not the slip stitch, but I am definitely going to count just to be sure. Oops. Let's try that one more time here. Okay. I definitely always count my stitches on patterns like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So we've got our 15 stitches for round 7. I'm going to join to that first half double crochet of this round with a slip stitch. Make that slip stitch nice and tight. You don't have to worry about making the slip stitch too tight because you're not going to be crocheting into that. You don't want too much gap in there. So then for rounds 8 through 11, Easy peasy. We're going to chain one, or again, if you prefer, chain two, and just half double crochet all the way around, join with a slip stitch, chain one, around again, around again, just working even rows of half double crochet. You'll have 15 stitches in each round. Definitely stop and count your stitches as you go. So I will see you at the end of round 11. All right, and here we are finishing up round 11. I've got my 15 stitches, joining with the slip stitch. Now it's going to be the time when we add the flap and turn it into the handle. Now it's kind of hard to see because of this yarn, which is actually a good thing, but if you look closely, especially if you're working this along with the video, you'll see that this is the seam where you've joined, and it's hidden pretty well by the yarn type here. But what because the seam because the seam leans, as it usually does when you're working in the round, you're going to have to work a few stitches before you're ready to pull that flap up. 
So what we're going to do here, and this might change for everybody. Different people have different amounts of lean. I'll just show you what works for me. If you find you need one or more or fewer stitches to get there, that's fine. For me, I half double crochet in the first four stitches here. Two, three, four, and I've come around now to where the flap should line right up. I'm going to take the flap and right here on the outside fold it up. You can see we've been working in the round here. I just want to show that again. On the outside I'm going to fold it up. And I'll weave this little end in here later. But for the next five stitches I'm going to first go through the flap stitch and then through the next stitch, which is kind of hard to see which one it is. There we go. The next stitch of the cozy. Oops, I forgot to yarn over first. Let's try that again. And work a half double crochet. Then I'll do the same thing on the next four stitches. And I'm actually going through the base of the foundation row here. You may have noticed when I first started that I worked into the hump. That's why I've got this V on top now. So I'm going to go under the foundation chain here. And then into the next stitch. Work a half double crochet right through both. Yarn over. The next stitch. Then here we are. Go through both layers. And this is where that flap becomes the handle, which should fit a gift card quite nicely. Last one. Go through that last stitch there and through the next stitch of the round. Okay, and you can see it is well attached, attached now, so we'll go ahead and finish it up here. I will half double crochet in the remaining, should be, let's say we did four and then five. So we should, ha should have six remaining here. So that's three, four, five, and six. There we are. So to finish it off, I could uh, do a slip stitch join and finish off. I like to cut the yarn and do a seamless join, which I do have linked in the pattern. And I will link to in the tutorial. But that is it. That's basically the pattern right there. And like I say, it should fit quite nicely right in there. You know, and weave in the ends, of course, before you give it as a gift, or use it for yourself for that matter. But you can sl slip the gift card right in the handle, or stick a cup in there, keep your own hand nice and toasty. And that's all there is to making the Happy Handle Coffee Cozy. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.